Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is August 11th, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. And no worries, the voice is back. We got a quick little update on the S&P. Do things a little bit differently here. I want to show you guys our report that uh, just went out an hour or so ago after the market closed. We had a target of 44.50 in yesterday's report to our monthly subscribers, and they got that information. And you can see that's a direct hit. It's within less than a point, a little bit more than a half a point away from a direct hit. And that was a very nice little uh, tradable price target, if you will, with a very short stop or make or break. Okay, so monthly subscribers get that in advance a day early. But uh, we like to keep you guys in YouTube up to date, too. So anyway, without further ado, I wanted to, well, let's look at this. Um, thank you guys for uh, subscribing, hitting the reminder bell and the like button. See if it shows up. There it is. There we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate your patronage to the channel. And I want to show you our uh, disclaimer and our honor rolls and top 10 awards over there. And last but not least, our subscription services. Again, YouTube discount's going to end at the end of the month. Um, contest, guess the uh, closing price of the S&P. You win everything free. And you can see all the stuff we offer there. I'll let you guys read that. Won't go through all that. But I want to show today's price action. It's, it's really interesting. I'm looking at a one-minute chart. I trade on a one- and five-minute charts, okay? And we were looking for a move up to 44.50. Here's yesterday's close. Here's today's open. And it came within a point, as we showed earlier. And that's we're looking at the market from the August 3rd low. If I can get that in there. There we go. And there's one. There's two. And there was the three target. We got. We have a few different possible wave counts here. But it's really kind of exciting, actually, because the, the make or breaks or the stops, if you will, are tight okay let's look at this in well, let's look at this first wave here in parentheses wave one wave two there's where three equaled one at 44.50 and we got within a point but within here i want to show you guys this extension there's one there's two and it's right down there and three equals almost a perfect 2.618 multiple of one Okay, we'll remove, well, yeah, let's remove that there, and let's put uh, 1 to 5. I'm not even remembering if uh, that's where that went. If that went, to, I think it went to, um, there we go. Yeah, right at a 1.618. So um, that's five ways up for sure, but this is where it gets interesting here. And this may be, I've been doing this for 30 years, but this is a little bit um, different, if you will, Okay. Because in here, and I'm going to break this down. You can see here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in red for wave 3 in parentheses. And then a 4 down and then that 5 up, okay, to complete wave 3. And we would expect wave 4. But let me get in here because I was trading this. It was, a, it was a nice trade this morning too to get short right at 44.50. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. Let me, uh, let me make this a lot bigger, okay. Let's go here. The little tricks they do, okay. Let's see here on a one minute chart. Let's get an extension. Okay, if that's the high there, there's one down, there's two up. And look at that. Three is a perfect 1.618, right? So everything's to form. We're trading. We're good. And then, all right, so now we're going to say, where is the target for five? And it's there, right there. See it? That's where five equals one. And a lot of times they know where those Fibonacci targets are. I sold right there about a point before because they do that a lot. They take it right above or right below the Fibonacci extension or retracement and get everybody out of the market or think you're wrong. Okay, so if you waited for five to equal one here, it never got there. And then they started a new uh, move up. This move up is can be counted a few different ways. You can see here I've got this one, two, three, four, and then five with a one, two, three, four, five. That could be a truncated fifth. What's a truncated fifth? Where a fifth wave does not go higher than the third wave. And that could be the end of the move. That's one count. Um, you can also count this as three waves up. 
and that looks better on a different chart. I got all these on a pick, but this shouldn't be five down followed by five up. If this was five down, it had to be part of a bigger wave. It had to be a three and then a three, three, five. And I guess you could squeeze a three, three, five out of that, but that those both can't be right. But I left them up there, okay? Let me see if I can show you guys here on the five minute, and I still have that up there, and that could be an A, B, C on the way up. Do I have that on a bigger? Yeah, let's do that. Let's take that out of there. Remove, remove, remove. And if you look at it here, it looks like a three wave A, B, C. Okay, let me mark that for you guys. It's always good to look at uh, different time frames. Even when I'm trading on a one and a five minute, I look at a 10 and a 30 and an hourly. But you can see here, and that's way too big of a degree of trend. We'll change that and make it more minuscule. There we go. So you can see on a bigger scale, that looks like a three wave advance. So this could be a five, three, five. We'll see how that works out. Could be wave four. Where are the wave four targets? Um, let's get that in here with a Fibonacci retracement. If this is three, we're getting four down and a higher five. There we are. There's our targets, 44, 30, 24, and 18. Let me see if I have that on a pick here for you guys. There we go. Okay, there is from the 8-3 low. Excuse me, one up at 44.23, and there's that one, two, three, four, five for three. You can see I left all this stuff up here. Okay, um, we we're looking for 44.50. We got 44.49.44. Okay, that was as close as you can get. Okay, and then there's that five ways down. There's that A, B, C. This would be one or A. This would be two or B. And then we're looking for three or C. You can see the targets here. And I've got that labeled for the larger wave four. But the these are the, I'm sorry, these are the wave four targets if that is three. I got three in black here, four there. This is interesting because, again, a tight cluster. A Fibonacci 383 gives us a target of 44.30 for wave four. A 50% gives us 44.24. And if this is four down, hope it's not too confusing because I got three different counts up here, including the truncated fifth, or that's just one of five, and this was decline, the decline. But anyway, the make or break, the low of four cannot go above the high of one, and the high of one is 44.23. And there's a 50% at 44.24. That's a very tight range there. And if you were wanting to be uh, short and looking for the market to go down in this four, or say I'm wrong and it's over and this thing is shooting way down and correcting this whole thing, your your make or break or your stop is right there at 44.94. I'm sorry, 44.49, 44, and it closed less than two points or just more than two points below there. So your make or break is two points away. So that's a very high risk reward trade there. So that's what's going on there. I think that's about all I wanted to show you guys for today. Very interesting the way this is working out here. We're looking for a move, obviously a move below this. Well, let's start this way. A move below the high here at 44, I thought it was 23 or 24, means it's correcting more than just this third wave. And a break below the August 3rd low is the first sign of a trend change. We don't have it yet. Let me see if I have that here that I've been um, putting out to our subscribers here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go down. And yeah, a break below the 719 low of 42.33 is needed to confirm a change in trend at one degree. And a break of the 8.3 low is at the next smaller degree. So we still have a ways to go. The primary count shows that this is a third wave high. And there's our fourth wave targets. A move above that high negates that count. So we should know in the next day or so. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys again. Until next time, take care, everyone.